Well, joining us now from the Gladys Porter Zoo is Alejandra Rodriguez. Afternoon, Alejandra. Good afternoon. Okay, so I am looking at you right now in the monitor behind me. I can see you, and you are holding an adorable chinchilla in your hands. I know it's the chinchilla. I'm, this is when I get a little nostalgic, and I'm like, oh, when they used to come into the studio, we used yeah. to get to pet the chinchilla. So soft. So for people who don't know anything about it, the chinchilla, give us the details. Mm -hmm. Like you mentioned, they are incredibly soft, and that's partially because um, they have, in each follicle, they'll have maybe around 60 hairs, um, so they they have very dense, very, very soft fur, um, and they actually don't really like getting that fur wet, so they don't really like humidity, they don't like moisture, so they'll take these regular dust baths as well to kind of help groom um, and kind of clear up that moisture there. Let me see if I can turn them around here. <laughs> it keeps facing this way, um, but chinchillas, you, they are actually an endangered species, um, and you'd be able to find them in uh, Chile in the in the wild. So, like I said, they really like colder weather. They'll, they'll live kind of in the mountains, um, yeah, dry, cold. Um, so they don't really like temperature to go really above 80 degrees or so. Um, so this weather that we have here may not be um, the best for a wild chinchilla, obviously. And then so, but chinchilla is actually within human care. If they're taken care of properly, they can live up to about 20 years, which is really, really impressive, especially for a rodent, right? <laughs> that yes. goes, doesn't always have a, a really long life expectancy. And so that's um, why they, here you mm -hmm. keep them indoors because it's much yes. cooler. <laughs> that's the only way that they're going to get to see 20 years, right? Right? Yes, yes. So you want to make sure you really know uh, what the animal needs um, and what you can provide. You want to be able to provide those dust baths, of course, um, and the temperature regulation that, yeah, they don't, they have a tendency to overheat. So you want to make sure you're really providing everything that the animal needs. And they're just one of the many animals there in the education department. And you guys are getting ready for a big holiday weekend, expecting lots of visitors there at the zoo. What about the hours this weekend? Our hours will stay the same. We'll be open every day. Um, so Saturday and Sunday from 9 to 5.30 and then 9 to 5 on Monday as well, I believe. Um, and then we're going to be having our discount weekends coming up soon. So if you can't make it this weekend, we do have our discount days coming up. Yeah, and let's talk about those discount days because it's the appreciation days and, and lots of folks can get in on a great price. Yes, so um, the weekend of the 9th, 10th, and 11th, we'll actually be having our Brownsville discount days. So Brownsville residents, all you have to do is provide a proof of residency. So that can be a driver's license, um, utility bill, something like that. And you will be able to enter the zoo for only $2 per person. That's an incredible deal, right? So especially if you're going with the whole family. And then uh, the following weekend, the 16th, 17th, and 18th, I believe, um, then that will be for our lower value residents. So anyone that's a resident of Cameron County or Willacy County, and that'll be $3 per guest. And again, you just have to provide that proof of residency. And then in October, we'll be having our uh, upper valley and out of valley. So don't worry if you don't live in Cameron or Willacy, I'm sorry, Cameron or, um, yeah, Cameron and Willacy County or in Brownsville, you will also be receiving a discount weekend as well. That'll be coming up soon. Sounds great. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks so much for having us. We're going to be right back.